But what do we have left once we abandon the lie? Chaos. A gaping pit waiting to swallow us all. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. Who's ready for chaos? My voice wasn't shaking. It's fine. We're good. Chaos is over. Thank you all for coming. I'll leave you with some dupe making music. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Happy hump day. Woo! And you know it's a good stream. When we have the likes of Saintly Gator and the smoldering sausage, Aiden the Duplicant. Welcome back. Hope everybody's doing great. Yeah, um, I turn everything on and I think I realized something. I just got back from a dentist appointment, right? And so I was like, boom, 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 hitting all the right buttons. I may have been going too fast for my computer. Somehow, I think what happened, do I seem lower? Hold on, hold, hold on. This is much better, right? Is this how we're doing it now? Yes? No. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is how we're doing it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, nope. One more click. Okay. <sighs> I was coming back from a dentist appointment and I powered on the computer. And for those of you who didn't know, for the past couple edition of Windows, when you actually shut down your computer, it doesn't actually shut down. All right. It just goes nighty night. It's not actually in sleep mode, but it's going nighty night. Um, so when you hit the start button or when you hit the power button on the computer, it boots up quicker. The only way to get an actual good restart is to restart it. Huh? Uh, but I think when I logged back in, something was going on. The camera uh, is another fun fact in the IT world. Your devices can only be used by one program at once. That's the reason why you can't use a camera both in Zoom and OBS at the same time. And I think something else was grabbing the camera because nothing fixed it except voila. Have you tried restarting it? So I did. And my goodness, what's all the love coming so far? I haven't even done my job yet. In fact, we're a little slower on the job today. We Azar, just for you, buddy, because you want to do all the twirls without having an echo twirl. Here's the white socks. Okay. White socks just for you. Beautiful. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. The love started before we even went live. The love started Mead Hound a while ago. Mead Hound four hours ago with a hundred bits and says, here I sit all alone throwing bits in your home. Like it was four hours ago, Mead Hound. Okay, we need to adjust the international clocks or something. And then we came in 14 minutes ago. Me Hound was like, no, I'm not done. Fwing! With another 100 bitties. Thank you, Meat Hound. Hope you're still out there. Bushman Glenn in with the 15 months. And says, on the 16th day of Christmas, my echo gave to me chaos. That's all you get. <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. Oh, I already refunded the pendiculates and the drinks because I may have pendiculated and I may have drank, but I wasn't able to do it on camera since you did it too early. So, you know, there you go. Free ones. Grignac. Grignac with the 13 months says, I can't believe I've been playing this game for this long. Mm. Grignac, what a snack. Mr. Rusty 8684 in with a tier one, eight months for Mr. Rusty. Thank you, Mr. Rusty. CL Pate, 13 months with some echo fuse and some appropriate echo twirls. Okay, we Azar, look how CL Pate did it. That's how you do it. All right, I don't mind the Chloe Cosmos twirls, it's a majestic twirl. But you have to put in the superior twirl whenever you do the Chloe Cosmos twirl, which is the echo twirl. Okay, we've talked about this. Saintly Gator, 15 months. 
welcome back again. Saintly Gator's rocking that Founders badge. So for those of you who do not know how I work the Founders thing, all right, about every six months, maybe, yeah, it's probably about every six months, I go through the Founders list. And for those who didn't know, a Founder is your first... I want to say it's your first 25. Actually, for an affiliate, I think it's your first 10 subs. And then when you become a partner, it's 25 subs. So what I do, no, we Azar. Okay. All right. You want to play around, we Azar? You want to play around? Let me figure out how to time out. Hold on. Time out, we Azar. All right. We Azar has been timed out. Now, how do I untime out, we Azar? Okay, untime out, Weazar. All right, Weazar, welcome back. <laughs> so yes, you can change the founders list. It's not changing it. You don't have direct control. What you do is I'll go onto that list. And if they, if the founder has not been subbed in six months, I know that they are gone. And so that founders tab is sort of wasted. So what I do is I unfound them. And what it'll do is the next person in line will automatically become a founder. So you never know. One day you may pop in here and you might be a founder. So it pays to say, it pays to stay subbed. Speaking of staying subbed, Saintly Gator, 15 months, rocking the founder's badge, even though they went away. They went away for a little while. Where do you see this pro streamer, says Spunkin Pie? Um... When you go, if you're going into your analytics, let me not tell you the wrong way. Analytics. Uh, earnings. Go down to your sub list. Go to view details. And then on the right side, under view details, you'll see all your founders. In fact, I can tell you that I bounced one founder like yesterday, the day before. And, uh... Loops 285 is was the next founder in line. So that's kind of cool. I'm, I'm falling way behind on all this love. There is way too much love here. I don't, I don't even know where I am. Gloom enraged. Gloom enraged with the nine months. Thank you, Gloom enraged. Inept SC with the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brian Matt 42. Brian coming through the booth with five gifted Subarinos. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate you. Yurichi Sama with the 13 months doing the appropriate twirl. Way to go, Yurichi Sama. Way to represent the channel with pride. <laughs> Dex3D, leader of the Council of Meeps, throws a hundred salty sock biddies. Thank you, Dex. Kinda noobish in with the 50 bits. Also throwing down some Echo Ridge twirls. Thank you, Kinda noobish. Saintly Gator with 100 bits. Also Aspect Tiamat with 100 bits. Thank you both very much. Lady Anime Yuki with a gifted sub. I appreciate it. Aiden the Duplicant, AKA the Smoldering Sausage. In with the 11 months at the tier one. Thank you, Aiden. Welcome back. Cried his pain with a hundred bits. Some, uh, are th those are corgi bitties. Mmm, I do love corgi bitties. Yes. Now, Yuki's trying to get in with the posture check. I appreciate it, Yuki. Greatest pain with another hundred bits. Kaylee Wren with another hundred bits. Pepe, uh oh, bouge? Maybe Pepe bougie. I don't know. But again with a hundred bits. Thank you all very much. Greatest pain, Kaylee Wren and Pepe. Meat Hound with a hundred twirl pizza twirl bits. Oh, those look like some delicious bits. Chris Hoffler in with a gifted sub, followed by Gloom Enraged coming over the top, flipped the hat backwards with 
another gifted sub. Thank you all very much. I'm in a great mood today. Can anybody tell? I'm like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and honestly, there was no Red Bull involved. So this is just all echo, all chaos. Mm. <laughs> I, I, it happened this week. I don't know what it was. I got re-motivated about YouTube. I have some big ideas. I, oh, things are coming together in the channel, right? Things are coming together. Pumpkin pie in with a hundred whoop whoop bitties. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, um, doing some thinking and some research and all that sort of stuff. I realized, all right, so civilization's not growing very well right now. But I'm going to keep hammering that so hard. It's going to bend to my will. All right. By the time I'm done. <laughs> yes. So um, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be coming out with uh, the Ani videos once a week. We're doing the Chaos Crusade. For those of you who didn't watch your homework, the video was posted last night. Okay. Did you do your homework? I hope you did your homework. And for the Civ videos, the next Civ video is going to take me a little bit longer because it's going to be sort of a how to play Civ in 45 minutes. It may be how to play Civ in one hour. What it's going to be is that good primer for anybody wanting to get into Civ, but they don't know where to begin. You can't just do a complete tutorial on Civ. Why? Because the game is six miles wide and six miles deep. What you need is to be able to know what you're looking at and how to learn it. It's like a game like chess. You're never going to stop learning about Civ. Like it, it's not gonna happen. There are so many permutations and so many things to stack that it's impossible. I mean, we see that I got Civ posters back there. I own every edition of Civ minus a, um, like a boxed Civ 1 or Civ 2. But I have Civ 3 and beyond. I have all the collector's editions. I've got posters. I'm a huge Civ nerd. Love it. And so, uh, look out YouTube. Okay, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Saintly Gator with a gifted sub. Bergetta with a hundred bits says yay for Civ vids. I appreciate you both. Thank you very much. Highborn Jay says I own Civ one on the Amiga. Um, this is where my my I have a crap memory. Um, it's probably too too many years in the Marine Corps with um excessive consumption of non-hydrating beverages and i cannot remember if i played civ 1 i know i have memories of playing civ 2 but i can't remember if i played civ 1 kutai says i really like that i think you can do it and that dipping into games won't work so stay strong and push those civ videos out that's what was kind of my 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 thought process I had to grow my audience. audience. I'm just gonna grow a Civ audience. And what's great is I'm gonna make you love Civ too. And then I'm gonna start cross pollinating them, right? Like we're gonna go into a huge party like three days after COVID, at, COVID hit, no one's having a mask on, everybody's playing each other's game. It's gonna be a great thing. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be great. And even I watch a lot of Civ videos. And I don't see anybody that makes them quite like I do, right? Not quite like I do. We always have, you know, there are some great Civ YouTubers out there. For instance, my personal favorite is um, Potato McWhiskey. I am absolute fanboy for Potato McWhiskey. Um, but I don't know. It's a little different when we do it Echo style. Highborn J said Civ 1 had square boxes for units with picks on them, so you would remember. Highborn J said, I think you're giving my memory too much credit. <laughs> Bunder Pressure says, not gonna lie, couldn't get into Civ. I am an Age of Empires 2 nerd and the transition was hard. Gonna have to give it another try. Oh, you know what a game that reminds me of that I loved better than Age of Empires? 
uh, was the rise of nations. It was like a Civ Age of Empires hybrid. First time chatter, hey Ron, hey Ron Leppy says, hey spuddies. <laughs> oh. St. Lee Gator says, Potato is the man for sure in, in that world, um, but it's always fun to get a new view and a style playing commentator. Exactly, exactly, because I can guarantee, um, first of all, Potato is a much better Civ player than I am. I'm a great Civ player, but Potato is just, he's Potato, right? He's, I was also, I've also been fanboying and being jealous because I've been trying to think of a new intro because the whole welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, or that's how it started. And then I went with, welcome back to Echo Ridge. I, I'm just not loving it, right? I need something quicker, snappier. I haven't found it yet, but we're going to keep working on it. Maxine says, um, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Oh, oh. Those were the days. Those were the days. Critus says hexagons didn't happen Civ 5 until Civ 5. Yep, that is correct. Burgetta says, how about it's chaos time? I know, but do I just hit record and go, it's chaos time? I don't I don't know. I think that may turn some people off. I don't I don't know. And see, in chaos, like we all know that we're all about some chaos here because I'm a squirrely mess. But um, the for the new viewer, they don't understand. Mead Hound in with another 50 bit says you could start a Civ channel separate from Ani as long as there is chaos. I don't. So I, I'm separate. I have two different YouTube channels right now. We have one for the VODs and we have one for standard YouTube stuff. I don't want to start a separate one for each game because the ultimate goal is for me to be able to play whatever I want and you know 200,000 of my closest friends come and watch so you know what i mean it that's where you gotta go as a, a as a youtuber because it is near unsustainable now as a civ youtuber you could stay civ pretty much your entire career why because they're going to keep coming out with civs chat i don't think we're ever going to see an ani 2 you know what i mean like it's just yeah. which is not bad. I love Oni, and I, you know, I've got thousands of hours of playing it, but it just doesn't have the, the credence. Another thing that Civ is great at is the fact that it's, you know, a hundred times the viewership of uh, Oni as far as how many people play it. Like Civ has been in the top 100 games played. I would say probably top 50 games played for 15 years. Before Civ 6, it was Civ 5 that was staying up there. I mean, I'll be willing to bet Civ 5 is still in the top 100 of Steam games being played right now. And before that, it was Civ 4. People are always going to play Civ. There are some people, the only computer game they play is Civ. Hey, Ron Leppy says, didn't they recently say they're coming out with more Ani DLC instead of a 2? Um, well, they know. What they said is they were going to continue coming out with small patches, um, the small updates instead of DLCs. Highborn J says, before Ani, it was Civ 6 for me, but then Ani came to my life. Gloom and Raged says, love me some Civ 3. Back in the Doomstack days. Brian Matt says the ver a very fair point, but their small updates are actually pretty impressive for their size. I 100% agree. I 100% agree. And this is what worries me. We had a small talk about this a couple of weeks ago is because I worry that they're not making enough money off of Oxygen Not Included. I understand why they don't want to do another separate DLC because then they have to maintain three different code bases. You know, like... They'd have to maintain the vanilla experience. They got to maintain the spaced out experience. And what if somebody buys this DLC, but not spaced out? It's a very difficult thing to maintain all those different um, code bases and they're in development. 
So while I enjoy the small updates and the free small up small updates, by the way, they're not making any more money. Like take my money, Clay. I'm not saying they have to be big, you know, but maybe once a year, a, a $15.99 DLC. Yeah. $9.99 DLC. I, I, you know, Chris says it's Ani Siv and Monster Train. What is, what is Monster Train? Cheeky Beaky says I'd do a fifteen, a ten to fifteen dollar DLC easy. Yeah. Club Tropper, first time chatter, welcome. They said they should let us buy the skins like Don't Starve. I think they're eventually going there. I think they're still trying to feel it out and and trying to build it out. You know what one cosmetic I'd never buy? I'm not buying that payphone. I'm gonna earn that payphone. In fact, it's gonna be today. It's going to be today. Calling it, calling the shot. That's what's happening. We are getting payphone. Welcome, welcome chat to the stream where we're getting payphone. Yep. Sinister Plank says, I bought Ani way back in early, early access and paid next to nothing for it, like 20, 30 bucks. That's a cheap penny for over 4,000 hours of fun. That's right. Monster Train is a roguelike deck builder in a train with monsters. I'm going to look right now. I'm always on the search for, I love some roguelikes. Don't get me wrong. Monster Train? Monster Train. Hmm. It, they're definitely on a train. It's got overwhelmingly positive reviews. I'm not saying we're going to play it. I'm just, you know, impressed that it's got... Oh, what are you doing now? Did I hit game? Oh, uh, hold on. Desktop. I mean, look at this. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's cut off, isn't it? Don't cut off on me. Hold on, let me try that again. Oh, no, that's good. Overwhelmingly positive. This is rare. Sinister Plank that says the art in Ani is perfection. Yeah, I absolutely love it too. Bergetta still says, I still have my CDs for Civ 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We're digital DL. Um, every once in a while, I'll go on eBay and I'll get that, I'll get that, that itch and I'll Google it. I'll be like, or I'll eBay it. Uh, Civ 1 unopened. Click. $480. Son of a... <laughs> um, yeah, but overwhelmingly positive is very, very rare. I'm going to add this to the wish list. I'm not... It, it might be just one of those titles that stays on the wish list. You never know. I actually want to show you guys my wish list because it's, you know... Why not? We're just chilling, right? Nobody's going anywhere. Don't go anywhere. B-Dubs, welcome back. Says Monster Train is pretty solid. I was just surprised because normally when people say they play some random game that I've never heard of, um, it's hardly ever overwhelmingly positive. And that's 16,000 reviews. Oh, I am such a nub. Okay, I can go to my store. Nope, I gotta go. Where's my wish list? Thank you. Yeah, so right now, Urban Strife. I'm looking forward to some Urban Strife. This was probably back when we were playing the zombies. A top, like a, what is this? A 2.5D perspective zombie post-apocalyptic survival RPG. That's right up my alley. Octopult Traveler. This is one I get into the feels every once in a while. Um, playing that old school RPG and I've never played number two but I refuse to buy this until I beat Octopath Traveler 1. Uh, Mecha Bellum, is it still in early access? So I'm keeping an eye on it. I kind of like the gameplay. It's, uh, you know, you pick your units and then you just watch them go at it. I kind of like this. I also like PvP and la um, leaderboards and that sort of thing. We know Monster Train. I'm going to drop it down just a smidge because I have no idea. Come here. 
Uh, Millennia, this is another 4X, except this one's coming out by Paradox. Paradox is the, um, the publisher for this one. It's being developed, be quiet. It's being developed by um, C Prompt Games. I'm interested, I'm interested to see what the Paradox style is going to bring to a 4X game. So I'm keeping an eye on that one. Yeah, wish list is not necessarily it means everything I'm gonna buy. It's more everything I want to keep an eye on. Manor Lords. I mean, come on. Uh if it does what it's supposed to do, it could be pretty good. So it's staying there. The day before, I I don't remember. I think this was I think I liked it again. The zombie when we were going through our zombies time. Uh open world MMO. Like survival post I love post-apocalyptic, right? It's 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 my jams. So yeah, I'm keeping an eye on this one. Uh Tactics Ogre Reborn. I really want to play this. I played this a long time ago. I'm a big fan of no see now Steam Fake News. I am Born in 1989, October 8th. There we go. Tactics Ogre Reborn. It's a uh, kind of like the old Final Fantasy Tactics days. And I really want to get, I, wa I want to play it again. My problem with it is I'm not paying $50 for a remake. That's not happening. So this one's actually on the list. I'm waiting for it to get cheaper. KB222209 says, we waited so long to see that moment of truth. You didn't see anything, KB. You didn't see anything. It could have been my dad that was sitting at the computer before. Um, Spider-Man, I want to play a good Spider-Man game. But again, I'm not paying $60. Aspect Tiamat says forever in Vodland. Not until I remove it. <laughs> Our uh, history untold. I think this is going to be like another Forex thing. Why is Tactic Ogre a mature title anyways? I don't know. Um, New Cycle. It's another ba uh, city builder. And Ratopia. This was a game that somebody recommended in one of our last streams. So I'm going to keep an eye on it as well. All right. Smoke Beer says, yes, I'm calling BS on the 1988 birth date. Look, it could be 89 too. Could be 1989. <laughs> Some of you that have been here for so long. You know what's great is Carrots wasn't here. Carrots has been trying to figure out the year of my birth for so very long. All right, let's get to this roll call, shall we? Roll call! For those of you new to the channel, we like to do a roll call in every stream to say thank you for spending your most valuable resource, which is your time. So in the interest of doing that, if you've said something in the last five minutes, or if you start saying something right now, your name will appear on my bots list. And then I can uh, say thank you for spending that most valuable resource. Marky1988 with a Twitch Prime for six months is feeling young now. Thanks. Thanks, Steam. <laughs> Thanks, Marky. Oh. oh, I love it. I love it. You should just tell us the years of your not birth to trick us echo and then we'll never know your birth year that that's kind of the thing pixie cat that that's kind of that's kind of it i am i am 29 years old b-dubs and i are both 29 as a matter of fact starting off welcome back in a happy hump day to aiden the duplicate Smoldering sausage. Aspect Tiamat is here. Beat up 7979. Beer twirl dance off. Bexy Boo 91. Burger of uh-huh. Bunder Pressure. What welcome back. Somebody popped up in the list, didn't it? Was it Aspect Tiamat? 
because my list is shifted above it. I don't know. Cheek. <coughs> Cheeky Beaky 05. See, it's those 29 year old lungs. Chevelle 57. I was born in 57. Chris Hoffler was here. Kratis Payne. Dex 3D. Leader of the Council of Meeps. Ian Horn Dino. Ellie on Ellie. AKA Ellie O'Nelly. Fairlin. Gloom Enraged, Golden Creation Hawaii, Hebo Habo, Heron Lappy is here, Highborn Jace, Inept SC, welcome, Kaylee Wren, KB2209. You know, I'm gonna look something up real quick. Knowledge Base 2209. I guarantee there's a knowledge base for 2209. There it is. Information about the Spring for Shell Security Vulnerability. <laughs> March 31, 2021. Now we know. Now we know what the KB20 for 2209 is. <laughs> Kira Morgan. Kind of Nubish 85. King Conus. King Moax. Kutai Ed Returns. Love Lisa Kiss. What a nice name. Maxine Evie, Mead Hound, Minu Zeta, Multi Bear 98, Old Man Wiki, Oracle Smiles, Pixie Cat, Pumpkin Pie, Puzzlina, Queen Calero, Curtis Around, Rowanish, Saintly Gator, Sugar Rock, Sinister Plank, Smoke Beers, Soreo Black Feather, Level 6 Fighter Rogue. Stomp them. Stream Elements, the bot. Silco, the Grignac. Haunted, 318. Tomsky, 200. <laughs> it sounds like a name of a rifle, right? What are you using today? Oh, I'm using the old Tomsky 200. Don't worry about it. Toulon on Twitch. Veronica the Earthling. Vorakai. WH Net. Weazar. Whistling. With Love Sparrow. Yurichi Sama 23. Zimmy 99. Welcome, everybody. We had some love during the countdown because they like to, to flip it up on me. Bacon infused. The tier one, five months for bacon infused. Uh, we gotta we gotta we gotta clean the glasses real quick. Okay, this is a rare experience for a lot of you. You've never seen me without my glasses on. Um, so here you go. I'm going to take my glasses off. I'm oh, just cleaning my glasses. Nothing to see here. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. All right. Ha <laughs> ha. And Zahn says, in an hour, I'll turn 14. Let's see what presents my three kids brought me. <laughs> Shirt glass wipers of the world unite. No, it was a little thingy. It was a little thingy. Aspect Tiamat says, man, that wink. Effortless. <laughs> Highborn J says it takes 10 years off of me. Who are you? What'd you do with Echo? You know, it was like when we used to use the ears. Who was around? Let me know in chat. If you remember when we used to say goodbye to the ears. Ah? Uh? I think one day I'm going to get a setup where we're going to be able to say goodbye to the ear monitors too. I'm close to it because I now record my videos with my speakers on. And you can't hear the speakers. King Conus is coming soon. Ear camera stream. Oh, oh, I forgot. I was I was leaning back in my chair watching some vids yesterday. And now I need a recommendation, chat. I've been blanketed enough with enough Loki ads that I'm considering it. 
I'm considering it. I had some trepidation. I still have trepidation. Because, um, what is it? The TVA? The TVA makes me mad. It's just like, okay, we can do whatever we want because the TVA. Like, there's no, oh, look at all the Infinity Stones in my drawer. Like, come on. Uh, but Loki season, I've watched Loki season one. I need the recommendation on Loki season two. Is it a yay or is it a nay? Did I watch Blue Eye Samurai yet? No. I'm actually very behind on my on my nerd watching. I've not been doing any nerd watching. I have been watching a lot of YouTube though. Al Zero says it's okay, but we're getting a lot of yays. C Dancer says love the second season. It's a yay like pay. <laughs> All right. Let's get to this, shall we? We got a good stream coming to you. We are, uh, it's only a second stream, a uh, second stream colony. Is that a way to say it? Like we've only streamed it twice. Pixie Cat says, I know I'm late because it was on so long ago, but I'm finally watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and I adore it. I never watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, I had, again, I was like, Oh, I see what you're going to do here. You're going to take all the not stars and put them in a show just to kind of get it. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Highborn J says, watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Awesome. Well, adding it to the list. Adding it to the list. All right. Uh, Dumpster Fire is here. This is the... Uh, Chaos Crew play along. I got to keep my colonies separate. Keep them separated. Um, I got to keep my colonies separated. This is the Chaos Crew play along. This is actually the end of episode two, which you guys will see next week. Um, for now, though, we will go into... Buffet. Hey! Yes. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I know what I messed up on. Oh, we got to go back to the main menu. I was supposed to do this earlier. Cobweb and Rose. Welcome back. Five months. Cobweb and Rose. Uh, audio, audio, audio. Boop. Mm, there we go. Load. Everybody pull up to the buffet. And I realized I don't want to do just every gas oven food. We're going to get every food. Okay? Every food. All the foods. All the feuds. Uh, we have a blueprint here. We have six dupes. Before I pop that blueprint, let's check and see how we're doing. We have food for one, two, three, four, five, six duplicates. We have six duplicates, 15,000 calories. We have two oxygen diffusers going off, 42 tons of algae. Oh man, I love easier maps. <laughs> Be still my heart. Oh yeah, let's go check it out. Like a funk soul brother. Ruby, Marie, and a wren. Building, cooking. Oh my goodness. Ruby is like the Gordon Ramsay of duplicates, but they're anemic with a bottomless stomach and nyctophobic. I've never seen a plus 18 cook coming out the booth. You know what I mean? Not coming out the booth. Highborn J says, we need to learn how to ranch fish again. Mine keeps getting overcrowded. I am going to make a video about it. Serial Blackfeather says, oh, I have not watched the latest of the Spider-Mans, but I love the first one. I'm looking forward to watching it. I adored it. I loved it. The art is, oh, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Miles Morales is a lovable character. Um, a lovable Spider-Man. My only flaw with Miles Morales 
Call me old school Spidey. And I know the comics have gone both ways on this. I like, I like my Spider-Man to have built in webbing, right? I don't like this mechanical web thing. You know why? Because a 16 year old is not gonna develop revolutionary technology that has near infinite spider threads that can hold a semi truck and a bridge. Like, come on! But it makes sense if the spider bit them and then they can shoot their own webbing, right? That makes more sense to me. Makes much more sense. I don't know. Uh, did we want to take a look at anybody else? This Marie is just a builder. Decorator, gourmet, star it. Now we'll take some Merc Leaf. Three idle dupes. I'm on it. Okay, I am on it. Let's do it. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, let's, uh, let's set up some low priority diggies. Nope. Uh, some level four diggies. All right. I don't know where these are going to stay. But we have to build our display area pretty soon. For the reason being... I guess we don't, because here's the deal. If you make the pedestal, we don't have the pedestal yet. Uh, or is it furniture? It's furniture, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have it. And we put food on it, and then we're like, hold on, we gotta move this? Um, if we move the pedestal and then take the food off, it can go rotten during that time. But if it sits on the pedestal, it's fine. Kutai Ed says, just reminder, just remember, shaving creams comes in cans. Same as the web fluid. Makes sense. Science. See? It would make much more sense. Just stop making this. Like, how hard is it to just have the Spidey person have organic web shooters? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's a thing. Whoop. All right, how's our bathrooms working? Very nice. I'm loving this new system here. How's the temps? Temps looking good. Ew. We're still waiting for this steam vent to get stifled. Look at the heat, how much it's traveled. Hmm. And then we have, ooh, hello, Mr. Dreco. Did we already see what this was? Yes, we did. Well, you guys did. I want that Dreco. We're going straight. We're farming those Dreco so hard. All right, let's drop some water. So if I drop this, it'll come down here. And then I can do one of these. Bloop. All right, this is guaranteed to make a mess. We're going to do some things like this. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're going to drop some water. I'm going to drop it like it's 22 degrees is what we're going to do. <laughs> Are they going to be able to reach the food? Not right now. No, we got we to gotta make an alternate alternate sort of thing like this. Now they can get to the food. Um, we don't have a lot of room in our tank, but we have some. Sumsies. It's going to come down here. It's going to drop. Then it's going to go that way. So we need to go like this. Yes, yes. And then we need to go like this. Uh, like that. I love dropping water. It's so fun. Because gravity, you hardly ever interact with gravity and oxygen not included. Sinister Plant says, I got to say, the move to feature for debris is my absolute favorite addition to the game. I would say that, except during the video I just posted on Tuesday, I had the opportunity to move a fish. Chat, they put them in little fish baggies. They put them in the little fish baggies! Squeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
<laughs> King Conus says, well, if Spider-Man had to be really hyper-realistic, Spiders shoot webs out of their butts, right? <laughs> All right, so I think this is ready to drop. Come down here, goes down here. Da -da -da -da. Yes, let's do it. Whoop. Get in there. Let's do it. We know it's salt water, guys. Are, mm, I too like some salt water. 95C. Come on. We got to do some exploration. Natty Gas Geyser. That's great. Thimble Reed. Kindly Boat 1. Seven months. Hello, Kindly Boat. Why isn't the water dropping yet? Oh, we're still in slow, tiny mode. We need to find the other colony as well. Of course, we have a lot of map to explore, don't we? Oh, yeah. It's such a deep burn. Here it comes. Uh, Hatchy boy, are you eating stuff you shouldn't be eating? I thought we hid our hatches. I thought we moved all the eggs. Did I wreck that? I probably wrecked that. We want to start getting hatches going, but not inside the base. Remember the goal this time, I wanted to make a smaller base. Have we named any geysers? Um, I don't think so. Sorry, old Blackfeather says the fish baggies are so cute. I know it. I know it. Cocky chick. Echo's web would be a mess. Oh, behave. <laughs> yeah. Is this a yeah, spaced baby. out map? <laughs> yeah. No. It is a, uh, it's a spaced out play using a classic map. We wanted to go with a big planetoid, and that way we could uh, have more room for activities. Oh, look at a chlorine gas vent. I wanted some room for activities. Uh, what's the temps over here? Not bad, but there is bleach stone. Hmm. I suppose... I can start doing this. Let me... Did I set up our storage? We have not set up storage yet. Let me get research going. Where are you? My old friend. Yes, we do have it. The question is, where do we put it? Hmm. I don't know. It's Adrian YouTube. It's Adrian YT. Cheers. I appreciate the drink. And the lurk. Boop. Next to the pod? Uh, I don't like to put it next to the pod because it has a lot of negative decor. So why don't we just start it one up here, right? Like all willy nilly. We're gonna start it. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the the different one. Oh wait, that's too far over, isn't it? Uh, because this is our corridor. Yep. Eventually, I gotta move all this over too. It's so nasty. Like, who taught you how to play Echo? You know what we could do. I could put a little bit of water in this. And then I could put bleachstone and everything else in it. How's that sound to you? Then it doesn't matter if it's bleachstone, oxalite. I think it sounds pretty sexy. Uh, water, enable auto bottle. What does powering those things do? Um, to be honest... I'm not 100% sure. Probably it makes them empty quicker. Very rarely have I powered them. Because you know when you power or when you don't power them, they kind of kerchunk them out. That's probably enough, right? We'll just fill the 200 in it. There we go. No moss. You could make it a two tile deep pit. The dupes never directly steps in it. I kind of like that. This, what, this area can be a little lower. It 
which makes the question, should I go down here and do it this way? I think I should. Because this is still too, and then I can make this even, and it'll look cleaner. Still draining. Everybody's going to get sopping wet. It's okay. You'll be all right, sweetheart. Let's go ahead and check that research. We'll keep chugging along. Oh, fire pole. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Absolutely. This is kind of hot. Deconstruct this. Now let's set this up. Everything agriculture, everything clothing, consumable or Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Why not? It doesn't matter now. No critter eggs. Uh, soils? Yep. Filtration mediums, metal ores, miscellaneouses, yes. Organics, raw materials, and seeds. Er, body in the club. And, uh, yeah. Let's get some sweeps on. We're ki we kind of need some dupes, especially when we're running research. Uh, what are you doing, Smashykins? Oh, no. Uh, research. Vergetta is the only one to be doing research. Everybody else is disallowed. Smashykins, no. Organic, remember polluted dirt? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter right now because it's going to go in here. Of course, if they move the polluted dirt, they're going to get their hands dirty, aren't they? We'll remove polluted dirt. In fact, we can even set up another one in Hither for polluted dirt. What about them apples? Yeah, I like them apples. Can I... Mm. Let me remove this. Still not set to sweep only? Uh-oh. Ooh, good call. Good call. And now we can do all of our low-priority sweepies. Uh, don't touch my eggs. Apparently, this is where we were storing our eggs. I knew there was a place. What we can do is something like this. I wanted... Uh, this is still yuck. Hmm. I'm not in love with this anymore. I wanted to have a deodorizer right here. And yield buffer tank is in the way. Don't get me wrong. I still love you, buffer tank. But you're making me mad right now. Because remember to... Oh, wait a minute. What if I did this? Then the deodorizer would still be able to get everything up here. I don't love it. I, I, I gotta be honest. It's not my fave. <laughs> Haunted says don't talk that way about... Buffer tanks. Oracle Smile says the natural gas guys are the cooking toots. <laughs> cooking toots. Bye. Oracle. Nope, that's not spelling Oracle correct. There we go. That's, that's better than nothing. Yeah. And then what we can also do... No, I don't want to keep anything in there. But yeah, we'll... All the polluted dirt and rot piles that we end up sweeping will go right here. Oh, yeah. Let's sweep all this out. Wee! Wee! Organic, polluted dirt, rot piles. Absolutely. Emap, hello. Welcome back.
still draining. Can we mop this? Mop, mop, mop. Ooh, pod. Uh, ranching, cooking, building. We already have a cook. Operating, building, suit wearing. Ooh. Ooh. Do we have a mechatronics engineer yet? Yeah, this Frankie. We're taking this Frankie. Hello, Frankie. We even have seats for Frankie. Um, Box Fox Merle says we're not on sweep only. Good call. Good call. All right, we got all that done. Uh, we can mop that up now. We can mop that up. How much room do we have left? Uh, not a lot. Do you think this? 70 tiles worth? Will fit in here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> That's fine. We got some of it dropped. And means we can even explore a little bit more. Boom. And... There we go. We want to get the bedrooms cleaned up too. Oh, we're still using sandstone. We should have been using granite this whole time. We will replace it for the common areas. It's fine. We want that extra decor. Decor even. Oh, we need to add a little bit of extra food. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. All right, what are we doing today? I think we're still exploring carbon dioxide. Ugh. We need to find some more water sources. There's a chance one of the rare water geysers could be on this planetoid. Mm. Often dreamed about, never found water geyser. What is the mission statement for this colony? Make all the foods at the same time? No, not all at the same time, but make one of every single food. And then we're going to set up a nice little buffet. We're going to make it fancy, smancy. Speaking of which, the duplicates do not have enough to do. Let's go get some drywall. Because I want to start... I'm going to do good designs in this colony, because we're going to be in this colony for a while. So I'm going to make... I'm going to make beautiful designs. They're going to be so pretty. Uh, let me know in chat. Are you a left to the ladder well, uh, fire polar? Or are you a right of the ladder fire polar? I know there's... It's like the way you, uh, you hang your toilet paper. Because I'm always left to the fire pole. I'm always left. I don't know why either. Oops. Uh, we'll just deconstruct. Yeah, oh, whatever. Some people get stuck. It'll be okay. There we go. I guess we don't have to do that one. Uh, that might need some power at one time. Yes. Whee! There we go. Uh, actually, I do not want to do that because I want to keep this debris or these tiles here to continue to absorb this hot water. Brian Matt says there's only one way to hang your toilet paper unless you are a psychopath. I agree. Oh, Bushman Glenn. Oh, are you a sock, sock, shoe, shoe? Or are you a sock, shoe, sock, shoe? Uh, I'm a sock, sock, shoe, shoe. I mean, you wouldn't want one, one foot to feel naked. You don't want naked foot while the other one's all dressed. Kutai says, I'm shoe, shoe, sock, sock. <laughs> oh, I love it. I thought there was a new dupe. Yeah, nobody, uh, nobody wants the naming. Or is it not? Hold on. Let me edit the rewards. Is it paused? Is it paused? No, it's not paused. It's there. Um, speaking of which, we will be streaming on Friday. 
So make sure you're here. We're gonna go back to some Coral Island. Cause I know you loved it. All right, what are we seeing? Uh, we got a frozen fossil here. Nice. Hmm. Not seeing much else. Sporked. Sulfur said, and your dupe every three cycles killed everyone's bank. <laughs> Welcome back, Sulfur. Oh. Uh, let's do some more visibility over... Actually, this is going... We can do it over here, too. Let's not go through the Abyssalite, just in case there's anything nasty over there. There we go. Things are coming together. Schedule. Ooh, we got way too many on some schedules. Uh, Crazy Tastic, you're coming down here. Crazy Tastic RSSA, by the way. The Frankie coming down here. Priorities on Frankie. They're going to be a mechatronics engineer, so they're going to operate and build. Uh, then we got to set some skills. Ooh, skill check. Bergetta is getting some Applied Sciences Research. I think we talked about this before, but Applied Sciences Research gives you plus two science. Astronomy does not. So unless you're in the mood to do some telescoping, don't sweat it. Electrical Engineering. Dong goes into some carry. I've heard recent talk about, uh, probably because it came out on Netflix, about One Piece. It just, like, I don't want to watch the live action because apparently there's like 400 seasons of the anime that you have to get through first. Like, ah. Uh, like, I, I, I don't know what to do, chat. Like, I don't have that much time. All right, there's our skills taken care of. Let me get... An exclamation roll 15. King Conus. I'm going to give it to King Conus because they knew how many were in there and they rolled it when I said, let me get. So we're going to go with a seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. It is Fairlin. Way to go. It could be Fairlin. I always forget and they probably get mad at me. You got to remember though, you only got to remember my name. I have to remember a lot of names. Beautiful. Yeah, Gloom and Rage says One Piece is over a thousand episodes long. I mean, that that's redonkulous. That, that's, that's tough. Like, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do with that? All right. Uh... Sulfur says you do not have to watch the anime to watch the show. Inept SC says the live action is an amazing adaptation of the anime, but the anime is better. All right, let me see what we got going on here. I'm thinking about getting power set up. What do we got here? 50%. Yeah, this wheel's active 50% of the time. We get some power set up. We can't do coal yet because we haven't even set up our... I guess we could do coal for a little bit. If we get some smart batteries, because I don't do coal without smart batteries. I'm not going to do it. It's a bloody waste of materials. Uh, we'll go up there. Uh, but I was thinking about... I can't do this without steel. Never mind. No, don't mind me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, King Kona says, a sparkle streaker shuffling poop, and I missed it. I missed it! Wow, what's going on here? Illumination. Illumination. Boop! Alright, any more visibility? Nay. 
Nay on the visibility. Nothing to be excited about here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? A vending machine? Mmm. All right, let's keep going over here. Uh, I like doing this little cheeky thing. Just having them dig one thing, and it forces the dupe all the way over. It's kind of funsies. Whoop. We'll actually even do it like that, since that's the level. Oh, here's somebody. Come on, somebody. We got three diggers, right? We have, yes, three diggers. We knew we were going digger heavy. We're waiting for a farmer researcher. We kind of need one of them. Uh, we need to make sure we're cooking all the things, too. Sure, if you've got some of this stuff. I don't want to use the sleet weeds because when we do get in there. You could also just tell them to go there. Yeah, but I want to dig too. Ooh, neutronium. All right, so this is one, like another little chick. Is if your pod is not misaligned. This is 113 tiles. So then we can just go whoop. That means the edge here should be right about here. And it's actually a little bit further. So our pot is not dead center. But then again, you can also, if you have the zoom out mod, just go like that. Did we get a misaligned pod? Because that pod definitely doesn't seem center. Did I deactivate the water cooler? No. I don't think so. We're letting them drink it. It's all clean. For now. And I know we're on a Terra asteroid. We're going to have more water than we're ever going to be able to do with it. Uh, lots of wheeze warts. Okay. There's another pod. Ranching. Ranching suit wearing squeamish. Trypophobic. Small bladder uncultured ranch. Oh. Hmm. I know what Glenn Sullivan's going to say. Glenn Sullivan loves the stinky. I'm going to leave it to chat. I'm going to leave it to chat. We're going to go to the poll. Not that kind of poll chat. Uh, we like which dupe. We got a stinky and we got a Travaldo. You got one minute starting meow. Get your votes in. Democracy in action. And it's this is actually true democracy, right? There's no elected officials in between that gather your votes and then vote, right? No, this is this is straight up democracy. Dimble Reed feels so lost right now. <laughs> Can we get Cat Dancing on the Fire Pole? What is Cat Dancing on the Fire Pole? I don't know that one. Where's my pole? View the results. It looks like everybody likes the Travaldo. Probably because of the plus nine to husbandry. And that's probably a holdover from when ranchers couldn't level up very well. Now they can level up fine, so this is actually not a big deal. I was considering the stinky because of the plus three to athletics, which is kind of good. So yeah, name that Travaldo. Boop. All right. Nothing up here. Normally you get some water geysers in some of these slime biomes too. Oh, but this is going to be beautiful. We might dump this polluted water straight down to this cold biome. And this is where our initial metal refinery is going to go. Oh, yes. Mm. Gorgeous. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, can we... We can probably store this water. Is everything still in place? No. Uh, we're oxygen for 10 duplicates. This is fine. Whoops. Uh, what? Here we go. And we need another one of these. We'll also put some nice granite down here. Oh, yes. The metal refinery, cold biome, and shipping station are all close by, too. We haven't found much, to be honest, for as large as this asteroid is. Like, I need more goodies. Give me out! Ah! Oh! Our nice line is going to end right here. Of course, if we're going to have dupes going out via suits, we're not going to have a line here anyways. In fact, we don't even need this here. Because they're going to be coming out like here, and this is where our main run is going to be, somewhere like this. We'll see. There's some bleach off-gassing to the left. Ooh. Good eyes. Stop. I don't want to sweep all this. I just realized we have enough to do. All right, uh, can we go up? Upsy daisies. We're just gonna drop that. But I figure we can do some exploration like this. Up, 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 up. They'll jump up, jump, jump, jump up, jump down, jump around. I mean, this is pretty good right here. It's pretty good, old son. Oh, I might be able to even go past that there if I go. So they'll jump up here like this. And then I can go like that. Then like this. Then like this. Ah, uh, no, it's still whatever. Oh, wait a minute. I got another idea. I can go like this. There we go. Who's your daddy? Hello. Coming to say hi. That poor dude is getting a full face of sand. Mmm. Oh, speaking of which, dupe, Travaldo. Travaldo, you are going to be our first farmer. You're not going to get your hat because you're a primary rancher. But your job? Crops. All day, every day. Schedule. Old Travaldo can come down here. Boom. All right, let me get an exclamation roll 13, please. King Conus rolled a two. They were ready for it. And it is haunted. R-S-S-A. Bop, bop. Another one for the Royal Society for the Strip Mining of Asteroids. I tell you what. The haunted, um, or the R-S-S-A, has their stuff together as an organization. They really do. What, what happened here? How... How did this happen? Where did this water come from? It must have been the initial splashy something. I don't know. I, I don't, I don't know. There we go. I'm um, still only eight dupes. Man, look at this mess. Like what? How did this occur? And why is this saying no power? Oh. Ha! Uh, 
because I disconnected it. Someone wet their bed in a wholesome way. <laughs> they spilled the, the, the cup of water on their nightstand. Um, where? Seriously, where is this coming from? We just mopped all this up. I don't know. Don't know. We're going to give the dupes a few minutes to get caught up in tasks. Oh, more visibility. <gasps> Uranium. There might be some bees. I didn't think bees and uranium came on a, uh, a basic asteroid, but apparently, apparently we've revealed a cool slush geyser and just didn't know it because it went below the nine. Radioactive biome. Yep. Temps. Chile. Very, very chilly. Uh, can we do like this now? Go up like this. Yes. 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 And then we're in. Then we'll make some nice little ladders. And then we'll go rummaging and inspecting. And then we can keep bouncing over. Bounce with it. Bounce with it. Uh, oops, Sandy. Sandy boy! There's a Sandy boy there. All right. Don't want to go down here. It's all sorts of yucky. What is down here? Why is something off-gassing? We better sweep all this up, too. We're getting ready to start tearing through these biomes, but... Metal refineries coming. Oh, speaking of which, research... All right, we got the smart batteries. Hmm. Let's go metal refinery. Now we can actually put down some decent power here. Uh, let's go. Pop, pop, pop. Little storage bin action. Ed, welcome back. Yay. With love, Sparrow in 11 months. Dex, welcome back. Oh, look, there's some gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. We'll leave that one. We'll put a nice little ladder there. Some algae right here. Mmm. Uh, give me all the coal, please. Uh, all the coal goes right here. What happened to the top of the hour of Fluga? Weazar has been slipping. I don't know what to tell you. They're too interested in doing uh, Chloe Cosmos twirls and not doing Echo twirls. I don't know. Ed, in with a gifted sub. With Love Sparrow, did I get your Twitch Prime? With Love Sparrow with the 11 months, it had a chaotic day teaching teenagers. Now it's time for another month of Echo Brand Chaos. <laughs> Thank you, With Love Sparrow. Thank you to Ed. Ed in with a drink, too. Ed gifted the sub to um, one of his followers. Sampai Gemini in with a pendiculate. Oh, that was a deep burn. Uh, power. Oh, I need refined metal. Don't you do it. Disable it. Disable it. I always forget about that whole, you know, refined metal sticking point. It's like, ah. Uh. Hmm. If we come in from the top. We could just drill right down to the bottom, gut it all, not have to worry about heat or anything for a little while. 
Ed's gift was my exactly was exactly my 12th subscription. Thanks for a whole year of Echo, Chat, and Ed. That's awesome, Katai. Appreciate your support and Ed's. Happy Echoversary. All right, so we got some more visibility here. Ooh, geyser. Geyser, geyser, geyser. Geyser, geyser, geyser. Anybody want to take odds? Let's take the odds. What do we think it is? Chlorine gas vent. It is in a chlorine biome. I guess technically they tried to place it, but it was in some abyssalite. I'm going to say saltwater geyser. Speaking of which, where's that water geyser at the map supposedly found? Because I have not seen it. It must be this right here. Because the map revealed it and said, yep, there is going to be one. So I'll bet you this is it. And I'm going to do this just to see if I'm right. Cool slush geyser. Boom! I was right. Ugh. I mean, at, at this point, I shouldn't be surprised. Let's be honest. I mean... <laughs> um, so the reason why I knew that was there... Because the star map... Revealed that there's a cool slush geyser. But we had not found a cool slush geyser. So basically, it added it to the star map list. Instead of making it a unknown geyser, it revealed it because we got visibility of this area here. Don't start walking next to your boots. I don't, I don't know that saying. I like it, but I don't know it. Oh, here we go. Uh, what do we got? What do we, another cool slush geyser? Mm. We now have three water geysers. Uh, there's one here, one here, and one here. So maybe, baby, let me just sleep on it tonight because I might want to go in here and drop this water. I'd have to drop it a little bit further, but the geyser being in here means it's going to stay colder for longer. All right, let's keep, let's keep exploring. Keep exploring. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. There's no danger. There's too much water. Something dire is going to happen to balance it out. <laughs> so that's Ed. Oh, Ed gets it, right? Uh, temps are still. Ooh, these are a little warm. There's like one crack. This abyssalite crack was a little warm. It's a little weird. The dupes are like, can we go home now? We've been up here for a long time. It's far away from this base. I suppose we could also drive up a little bit. I don't want to start getting into other gases. That's the reason why we're not uh, just digging straight up like Paula Abdul. If you can feel me on that. I know you can. <laughs> I know a lot of you were around for the straight up days. Did you already mark my dupe for a gold package or did I miss it? Do I Did I owe you a gold package? Is that what this is? Did I say I owe you one? I may have said that. Sampai says I'm mopping what you're spilling. That's a good one. Boop. Ooh, Paku. He redeemed it. I didn't see a redemption. I may have yesed it when I uh, accepted everybody's thing. Zoldan Orlamu was just gifted a sub by the Bricked Ed. I kind of want to grab these Paku. Because I want to play the Paku game. Uh, the question is, how are you going to get to water? Are you going to jump, jump, jump? Oh, no. You need this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. No, no, no. Don't bounce that way. Bounce this way. Bounce with it. Bounce with it. 
Come on, you can do it. They'll start bouncing that way. I'm confident. Unless this water source is kind of messing them up. I don't know. Bag up the pakus and baggies. I don't have a rancher. We only have a farmer right now. And that does require a rancher. Smashykins! Gonna get some building. For Geta with some more research. Hmm. Oh, wait. Copy the... Oh, yeah. There we go. Why aren't they moving yet? Oh, there's another egg, by the way. We gotta move this guy up here. And I might as well do this for now so I can replace that floor as well. Don't forget some detour ladders around the fish landing. Uh, detour ladders around the fish landing. Oh, they don't need to go down here. They're fine. Go to your homes! Let me show the nav. Nope. 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 Come here. Oops. Paku. Show navigate. Why isn't it showing my navigation? How much you want to bet? There's a water pile above the bathroom. Dupes keep wet wetting their socks. Nobody wants the soggy socks. Isn't it the worst? I mean, I think it's the worst. All right, here we go. Go go to your homes. Good. I don't know why it's not showing me the nav on them. We'll have to wait till we get a rancher. They're starting to spread out weirdly, though. Whatever. You do, you fish. All right, so this is probably getting harder to breathe. Well, no, it's polluted oxygen. They'll breathe fine. Hmm. Nothing up here yet. Oh, we got something in here. It's an unknown. I see lockers. <laughs> Pixie Cat says, yeah, they have oxen. They just have to run under the irradiated freezing part. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's not that irradiated, see? They just gotta duck a little bit. I mean, it's barely any radiation. Um... Why are you going over there? Some of them have made it. Clearly, some of them have made it. Sorry you're having that back pain, Zolden. I resemble that. Max! With the 16 months. Oh, Max says sweet 16. You know what? Just for that, Max. There you go, buddy. There you go. Just for you. <laughs> oh. Radiation means no slime lung. <laughs> Me down. <laughs> Me down. Thinking outside the box. Oh, we got the Somnium Synthesizer. That's kind of cool. We will get up into that noise. Oh, there's some water. It's going to spill. Ugh. Just give me some visibility without making a giant mess. Is that too much to ask? No, you're not. I promise you're not in danger. Firearm. Fire Ramo 1 says hi. Hi back. Uh, we need to pick up some of this bleach stone for sure, though. All this bleach stone is going to make a mess. But we can keep going over. Look at us doing some exploring. Dora would be so proud. Uh, we'll go over a little bit, but now we can cut back and then go up. Actually, 
you know what? We could probably make this a little bit easier on the dupes if we just start randomly building some ladders to make it easier. That's hydrogen. Wee! Wee! Uh, yeah. And then we can go straight up. That'll be a much shorter route. Cannot dig there anymore? Uh, one, two. Oh, uh, no, they can't. They will be able to, though. Come sweep this, please. I know you don't have much to do. A lot of water is going to fall into the dig shaft. Oh, from up here. All that salty water. Mmm. Good eyes. It's okay, sweetheart. Nope. Uh, okay, yeah, we're doing that. I guess we're doing it live. We're doing it live. Uh, no, can't do that. There we go. Just take a look at this. Food is a bit low. That's eh, okay. Do I have enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're okay. Um, I heard there was some water here that I completely forgot about. Oh, right here. Oop. All right, now that they've done these, I can go like this. And that way, the hatchy boys will come up. So far, most of the fish have made it. This is good, because we're going to play some Paku games. We're going to make a new Paku plank, and it's going to be wonderful. It's not going to be the same efficiency, but we're going to do it. Oh, look at all these Sweetles just running everywhere. They're like, freedom! Okay, stop your belly achings. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Jumps up there. Stop, 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 stop. You're doing it wrong, okay? You're doing it wrong. Nothing. Where are all the vents and geysers, my wayward friend? And here's the space biome. Hmm. Lars. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. I wanted more. I wanted it all. Uh, let's start digging up over here now. Wee! We'll open up that. Get some nice abyss light in this uh, thing. Oh, yeah. Actually, I won't even touch that one. I'll touch this one and it'll snake out. A snake out! For having eight dupes and nothing to do, we are taking our sweet times doing things. Like, there's still stuff that hasn't been swept. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> KB says, I've literally never seen a weirder digging corridor. Thank you, Echo. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, this is, this is all makes sense. My favorite new digs have been the serpentines. Like this. It's so much faster than building ladders. The only problem is it's not as safe. Because if you happen to build one of these on sand or mud or something, it, the whole thing's going to collapse. It's going to be bad. It'd be none of the buenos. And we like to keep our buenos where they are. Oh, let's, let's dig in here. This doesn't have any yuck. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Check some temps. Oh, par it's fine. Fine, sweetheart. Yes, queen, let's do a uh, prediction. Thank you. I know I made them go through a maze, but then I made a shortcut. They just don't want to dig the shortcut. They're just complainers. They're like chat. <laughs> Wee! All right, the prediction's up. Is it going to be close? 
Is it going to be drywall or is it going to be something else? Get it, get it, get it, girl. Come on. Get your echoes in. Oh, haunted. Haunted needs. Was it a, um, so, uh, could somebody tell me, was it a diamond or a gold for haunted? It was a gold package, says King Konos. Thank you very much. Haunted. Boom. Two asterisks for haunted. Boop, boop. All right. And uh, haunted said, already, I don't want to sleep with the plebs. So we'll uh, do something like this. Get a nice early. Oh, yes. Little vacation-y spot right here with some of the clouds. I don't have a lot of drywall yet. Oh, yeah. Granite. Super Mega Geek. Me too. Uh, welcome. Thanks for the follow. Let's see if I can give your, your house some nice... Oh, oh, yeah, they're definitely getting some crown molding up in this humpy bumpy. Mac Daddy Macaroni 2319. I like that name. Thank you for the follow. Uh, let's get some airflow tiles there. Got to have some nice ventilation. Then we need some nice corner molding. Absolutely. Crown molding. Weezar says, I'm very proud of your wallpaper and decor. Thank you, Weezar. Will you spin for me? Spin for me. Do some spins, Weezar. Ed says, 4,196 on clothes, all in. Ed, how are you, how do you not have that much echoes? You need to do a better job with your predictions. <laughs> oh. Um... What do we got? A nice hanging pot. No, we can't do hanging pot. We can do a flower pot, though. An oh, look at that. Super Mega Geek says, thanks for the videos. Just got the game in the Steam sale, and your Beginner's Guide series is just fantastic. What a great game. Thank you so much for that feedback. First time chatter, super mega geek. That makes me happy to hear. That means my guess is super mega geek bought the game, um, went to YouTube, typed in oxygen not included, new guide or something, and my video came up. That's good news, right? That is what it's all about. I'm guessing that's what happened, super mega geek. If I am wrong, please let me know. Boom! Super Mega Geek liked what they saw. Came in with a Tier 1 Subarino. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. This this is okay. Ooh. Why did you pee your pants? Super Mega Geek says, no, that's pretty much what happened. First time chatter, full stand. Someone made a mess. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Yeah, last stream, it was sports gloves and something else. I can't remember what the something else was. Let's go with a buddy bud seed, because that's very nice. And a bliss burst seed. And then all of you plebs come sweep out the haunted room. All right, here we go. Are we done? The blueprint is in. We got 78. Oh, wow. 113. 114,000 echoes. And more people just came in. So it's a lot of echoes. This is a big one. This is a big one. Here we go. It's a payphone. I can already tell you. It's a payphone. We're calling it. Payphone. It's not a payphone. 
Okay. Um, it, it's a drywall. That means Ed is down to zero echoes. <laughs> this is a nice pull, though. <laughs> Ed says garble and gook. Oh. Um, yeah, this is a nice pull. And why haven't they done this move yet? Now they'll do the move. Okay. What is... Ooh! A volcano! That'll be fun! Bunsies! Let's also uh, dig over... I don't want to dig over here because then they're, those nice little guys are going to lose their their little habitat. We have the, cr the Critter Fluxomatic. That's pretty good. Mac Daddy Macaroni says, I'll take that fancy drywall off your hands. It's good, though, now because now I have the digital charcoal and the checkers. That might be something cool to look at. <laughs> Pixie Cat says, Volcano, you mean sour gas machine? We don't make sour gas in this colony. Pixie Cat, you must be confusing me with another streamer. Uh, because that's not how we do. That's not how we do it all. This. Is that the uh, the brain shaking machine? I think this is a brain shaking machine. Alright, so we've pretty much explored all this. Ish. Let's go up. Let's go up. <gasps> Kansas City Shuffle says, I made it out of si Oh. Cheers. I made the drywall out of um, sandstone, not granite, like a nub. Let's fix that right now. The wah, 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 wah. All right, so they're going to be digging up there. I want to see what this corner is. I don't think I've ever seen a volcano this close, but you never know. Right now, we have three water geysers, not counting the... Well, we have two cool slush geysers, a salt water geyser. This is not shabby. Oh, did you get stuck again? Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Who was it? Oh, it was a couple of dupes. Couple of dupes. Ooh, what is this? Polluted oxygen? Hmm. I too like polluted oxygen. Oh. And we can jump down there? And then I can go over here and start digging out all this. Oh, yes. Except if I do that, I'm not going to be able to get out. So we might as well not do that. We might as well come up here, go over a couple, and then just go down. Whee! And now grab up all that yummy, delicious goodness. Um, Echo is matting everywhere. <laughs> Make abyss light doorways. Oh, but rest assured, we are going to crush some souls because I'm getting rid of every piece of this light this planetoid ever had. There's some beautiful iron. Oh yeah, we're just gonna nom nom on that. Did I miss your answer on what the unknown geysers mean? Yes, uh, well no, I don't think I saw it. That's a my fault. Right now it says five unknown geysers, so they don't want to reveal it in the geyser list. So it means there's literally five that we have not exposed yet. And what's great is it's not one of these, because when you see one of these in the list, it doesn't mean that there's only one. We're just now used to it only being one because of playing on spaced out tiny asteroids. They don't have a lot of room for more vents and geysers. Um, hence the reason in this colony right now, we currently have two cool sus geysers. So we still have five more that could be anything. I'm hoping for at least one metal volcano. That'd be sweet. A nice 30 degree, relaxing, like 
Room temperature water would be great. You know. That's what I want. Let's see, how's this? Uh, it's fine, it's okay. It's, 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 it's all right. Oh. I could probably get him there and do some more action too. We'll go like this, go up. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll go like that. Yeah. Give us a little bit more visibility here without having to break into these nasty biomes. Dare guard. With the follow, I appreciate you. Ooh, pod. Stinky, supplying rocketry and tiding with twinkle toe. Oh, Stinky, you have noodle arms. They could have been a pick em up, set em down dupe. But then we also have a Rowan. This roaming, Rowan has got farming and green thumb. Oh, chat. It's between Stinky and Rowan. Stinky and Rowan, I'm I'm going to the pole. We're going to the pole. Which dupe? Stinky? Rowan. Do it. Now, base this on not what necessarily is the best dupe, but what we need, right? We don't have a pick em up, set em down dupe, but we still need a dedicated farmer. We have a re re rancher. Uh, yeah, they still don't have the skills with a Z yet. Don, how you doing, Don? Oh, Don's already up at uh, good stuff. Haunted. We never even gave Haunted their. Oh, we've got ranching. We've got ranching. Let's start that nonsense. Ninety. Oh, no. you know what? Just for chat, we're gonna do a bunch of vertical. What are you doing? We're going to do a bunch of vertical ranches this time. Chat always wants some vertical ranches. <laughs> Dupes are literally playing find the way out of the labyrinth. It's funsies. Oh, stop your belly aching. There's plenty of oxygen. There's still five more geysers and we have yet to find them. Oh, look at this igneous rock. Oh, you know what that means. We can go exploring. <laughs> exploring, exploring. Wee! Oh, look at this gorgeous coal too. We'll even do some serpentines up here. Oh, all up in here. Yes. Oh, can I squeeze myself in there? Chlorine, ah, eh, I could, but I don't think I want to. There might be something over here. So far, I bet you what a lot we haven't found. I mean, look at all the exploring we've done. We've spent about this entire episode exploring and we still haven't gone south. I mean. Super Mega Geek says, as a new player playing Spaced is, as a new player, is Spaced Out DLC worth getting straight away? Or am I fine with the base game for a while? Oh, you're fine with the base game. Wait till it goes on sale. Um, Dare Guard says, howdy, first time chatter as well. Oh, the new dupe uh, poll ended. Here we go. New results. Everybody likes the Rowan. 62%. But chat, there was only 34 votes. 34 total votes. Okay. There's 174 people in here. People are going to start thinking I'm using bots. Twitch, I'm not using bots. These are real people. Uh, Rowan? Welcome, Rowan. Priorities. 116 calories. We got some coming up. It's going to be fine. Rowan? Uh, schedule. Rowan's coming down here. 
We already have a bed. Uh, we are going to need another one of these. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. The planter box pattern is wrong. Oh, I did mess that up. Oh, I so messed that up. Why'd you let me do it, chat? Why'd you let me do it? Remember, you get your new dupe raffle. Box Fox Merle is already in. Uh, skills. Skills, Rowan. Farming. And they get the hat straight away. Uh, voted Volcano <laughs> with the construction. Whistling with the construction. Beautiful. Let's get this swept up. I guess this is another opportunity to do a different type of wallpaper. Let's do the checkers. Charcoal checkers. Very nice. Oh, except let's drive people nuts by spinning these by one. <laughs> oh, yes. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Oh, it's going to drive people nuts. <laughs> Pixie Cat says it hurts so much. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh. All right, we got to go in here. Oh, we said we're making some verticals. How to unsubscribe, Maxine says. <laughs> okay, it's driving me nuts too, I got to be honest. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, so we're going to do vertical ranches. We want... Uh, give me some space here. Nope, I'm out of here. 8 by 12s. The problem with 8 by 12s is our auto sweepers are only 7 wide. So it kind of makes you go 7 by... Whoop, 7 by... 14 and then covering up too. This is another reason why I'm not in love with vertical ranches. We only have food for oh, we're down to zero calories. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But we just printed that dupe. Plus, we're getting some harvestables. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, chat. I am not doing like... I, I was playing kind of cavalier last time and some dupes bit it. But now we have some unreachable food. Oh, I know where we're going. We're going shopping. I mean, look at all these delicious morsels. Delicious morsels. We Azar, I thought you didn't like the Sweetles. Now all of a sudden you're in the Sweetle Protection Program? Dex says I do seven wide with a ladder in the center. But yeah, but then how do you cover with your, uh, your, you must use two. Uh, picky up boys, auto sweepers. Oh, Dare Guard got a sweet Rock Crusher skin. I have not gotten a Rock Crusher skin. I only get dry paper and clothes. Mostly clothes, though, to be honest. All right, we got some barbecue coming up. Beautiful. Oh, yes. Aren't auto supers reaching nine wide? I thought it was seven wide. Because I don't have the... the I could have sworn it was seven wide. It's nine wide? Oh, this is easy day. So we can go eight by twelves then. Yeah. Eight by twelves it is. Now, I think the top of the colony 
is going to be here. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So ranches are going to be up here. So maybe this is the first ranch. We'll move it far enough over. Say like... Uh, Let's go here. Let's just do this. Let's do some of that action. Then we'll figure it out. Because this is surely going to be one. Woo! Get out of the way! Let me go the down. There we go. Six by nine. Seven by nine. Ugh, this is not working out for me. Math is hard, folks. Don't call me Shirley. Surely I wouldn't. Uh, we can go this here. Alright. No power for you until you build everything we want to build. Alright, let me get an exclamation roll seven, please. King Conus on it again. King Conus right now is typing a dissertation. So they just alt tab and they're right in there. And they rolled a seven. So it is Sam Pie Gemini. Whoop. It's now going to be Farmer Sam. Beautiful. Hexagons are the best of guns. 100%. Alright, so let's start this beautiful setup and contraption right here. Uh, it's going to have one over here. we got to do some of this. Let's just go over because we like materials. Oh, look at all this beautiful algae. Mmm. All hell, Ed, first of his name. So, what'd we say? We're going to go eight wide? Eight wide. By 96. So that means right up here. <laughs> you just fell down. You fell down. You went boom. All right, go like this. And one more. Wee! A weem away. A weem away. Pop. Drop. There we go. Kutai with a trifecta. We got a pandiculate. Oh, oh. I took today off from working out. Because. So. I was going to the gym to use the row machine and somebody was sitting on the row machine texting. And so I could not row. So I did the elliptical. It was only like 22 minutes and I am sore today and I'm in decent shape. It's just because, you know, muscles I haven't used in a long time, that sort of thing. Ed? Bricked Ed with the follow. What did I do, Ed? Why did you unfollow me? What happened? Who hurt you? Don't say it was me. It wasn't me. I know it wasn't me. It was the wallpaper. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> oh, man. Ellie says to, to King Kronos, good luck on the dissertation and the later defense. I'm hoping to start writing mine soon. Ellie, good luck. I can't wait to hear more about it when you get into it. So this is another reason why the vertical branches are meh. Because they can be a pain just to get set up, you know? I suppose I could do this, right? Right? 
and just put ladders across. This is probably the way, to tell you the truth. But now we're two tiles off of this. So a next row is supposed to go here, and we can't do it. I don't like it. So this is only... Oh, I did it too small! Chad, it's too small! What? How did I do this? Echo, what's wrong with you? What if I went nine wide? Uh, I could go eight by twelve. Nope, get rid of it all. You echoed it up again. Ooh, I heard a pod. Extend the roof up two tiles, and then you can add a real floor tiles and still have a ranch. Why? I already have floor tiles. You're saying build this up? Replace the ladders? That wouldn't be even either. It's, see, it's, a, it's all jank. It's kind of jank jank. MSU Cali with the Twitch Prime. Is this, is this Cali from YouTube? Is this YouTube Cali? Who just made it into the video series? Thank you, Cali. <laughs> now the question, are we, are we talking Michigan State? Or is it Mississippi State? No, because that would just be state. It is Michigan State. The Spartans. I believe it's the Spartans. Okay. Uh, uh oh. Mac Daddy Macaroni with a Twitch Prime as well. Thank you both for your primes. Kansas City Shuffle says go blue. Oh, after Callie said go green. Ah. Oh. Both of you are wrong, though. Go Gamecocks. <laughs> uh, no! Pixie Cat, we Azar! Into the corner. Get in the corner right now. Into the corner. Don't even twirl there. Just go directly to the corner. We're about to ban that color. See, this is ugly. I'm doing it for you, chat, but this doesn't work. And it's ugly. Oh, I don't like it at all. At least Pixie Cat did the right twirl. Pixie Cat, you can come out of the corner. We Azar does not deserve does not deserve company. I don't like this, chat. It's ugly. It's very ugly. It doesn't work. You know I'm not wrong. Why don't you build nice vertical ranches, says the haunted. Uh, Brainless Society says it right. Vertical ranches enrage my OCD. Highborn J says, what's up with orange? It's the, it's the color of Clemson. Uh, it just... I'm not doing it. You're not the boss of me, chat, okay? You are not the boss of me. You can't tell me. And even if you could, I'm not listening. Okay? Not listening. Get rid of that. We got to move these Sweetles out. 24 wide, 4 high. Ranches like nature intended, said hey, Ron Levy. <laughs> <laughs> Highborn Jace, I said it was uh, it's the color of Clemson. A lot of um South Carolina's rivals are orange. See how slowly it was sort of dumping them? That's my theory on the power thing. We'll power it real quick and I'll show you.
Did I already? I I know I got the pendiculate. I didn't do the drink. Or the posture check from Kutai. Thank you, Kutai. Sinister Plank says, I do mine 25 wide and four high and a slot in the hatch blocker to keep them in the four tile entrance. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. Do you see how much faster it's dumping them? That's my... Uh, I guess. I, I don't know. It could also be related to the automation. Uh, where I don't have an even unlocked automation. Can we do some of this down here, please? Get your heads together, Echo. Look at how fast they're working. Oh, yes. Bergetta getting, getting their cardio on. G-Vibes 2 with the follow. I appreciate it. Now, I will make an exception for the uh, for the Drekos. I have been wanting to do the Drekos because then we can fill this entire area with hydrogen. I think Dex is right on that. Sampai, I appreciate the lurk. 216 Smiley with the follow as well. Uh, what do we got here? 100, perfect. Did we finish that up? Come on, finish the research, please. We can go with stations. Oh my goodness, I don't even have the things. Whoop. Have a good one, Ed. I appreciate you stopping by. We'll switch research. We'll go over to the ranching. Check this pod out, though. Researching, ranching, supplying, flatulent, tripophobic, slow learning, pips. Easy, easy print, easy print. Sinister Plank says the one automation I wish that was in the game was fill logic. What do you mean fill logic? Like I'm smart compactor, like the one on liquid and gas storage. Oh, I know what you mean. Like on the buffer tank, like when it's supposed to fill and when not. I feel you. I could see that. Let's get some more bristle blossoms going. Oh, I'm going to tackle these Pakus soon. We got to get metal refineries going. We got a lots to do. We got lots to do. Guard says, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of hoping you'd be playing Coral Island. I almost renewed my Game Pass sub just to play it after I saw your video a few days ago. We will be playing on Friday, though. Can you post this seed in chat, maybe? Absolutely. Whoop. We normally, I don't know if it's been updated. We normally have uh, a seed command. Yep. I mean, <laughs> why do I even doubt the queen? Why do I even doubt the queen? Mr. Gamertech, returning chatter. Welcome back. Let's try Just take a look to do this. some more exploration. What time is the stream on Friday? Should be uh, 1 p.m. I haven't started putting the stream. I haven't started putting the Friday streams on the stream schedule yet because I'm not 100% confident. I'm pretty confident that that's what we're going to be doing. Friday, like 1 p.m. Eastern time, dear guard. All right, let's go. Oh, how's this heat? This thing needs to stop. It's so hot. Research complete. Now let's go down and do that automation because we need the, the automated wire bridges anyways. Um, then we can go up here and design this. Station, a little grooming station. Let's do a little critter drop off. Mm. I'm gonna save a couple because we're gonna put a cat box. 
you know we're putting a cat box and then we're gonna try to figure out the math or the, the cat tree I guess I get yelled at I guess for calling it a cat box not a cat box cat tree Boop. there we go there's a vent to the left of the steam Ooh! Oh, you guys have already seen that one. You've already seen it. I suppose I can get in there, though. Oh, no, I can't. Well, I guess I can. <laughs> the lengths that we go to just to avoid yuckies. We're going to dig through the Abyssalite. Yes! Yes! <laughs> hey, Echo, can you look south from the steam vent? I think I saw another vent. South from the steam vent? No. No buenos. The buenos are no. We can go around looking like this, though. Sometimes it'll pop out. Like, here's one. Uh, we already looked at that one. That was the one we deduced it was going to be the cool slush geyser. We're using the art of deduction because that's how you deduce. Pixie Cat says, Bad Echo, Abyssalite is our friends. Not today, Pixie Cat. Not today. I wish they had more designs for the Critter Condo. It's big too, beige and boring. They're it's you know they're gonna do more. I just want all the people at Clay stop working on every game for like I don't know six months. Just give us all the things and oxygen not included. And I know I'm saying this as a selfish person who likes oxygen not included better than Don't Starve, but the Don't Starve people would say otherwise. <laughs> Pixie Cat's crying. Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Why are you? Oh, you still can't get over there. Okay, I got, I got you, I got you, fam. Boop. Yes, get in there. It's gonna be all carbon dioxide. I wish there was some abyssalite in here or uh, oxalite, but sorry. Suck it up, Buttercup. I could probably make this a little bit better by gutting this. Oh, let's at least figure out where it's supposed to be. Uh, one, two, three, four. Something like this, just for now. Give it more room. Give the carbon dioxide some room to breathe, huh? Pumpkin Pig has a good point. Don't starve people have a lot of stuff already. That's true. I concur with that that, dedu that deduction, using our deduction skills. I don't know why that word is in my head right now. Whoop. How are we doing on algae, by the way, since we're just... I haven't played on this type of map in so long. I don't think you guys know how happy this makes me, that I can just relax and play the game. Here we go, here we go! Take your guesses. Spam in chat, what would you think this is? Oh, even though you guys already know. Never mind. <laughs> Mac Daddy Macaroni says, It's funny watching you play the game and realizing I stress about the entirely wrong things at the start of the game. With Love Sparrow said it's a hot mustard vent. Weazar says, Chlory, Weazar, how did you even see it? You're supposed to be in the corner. Turn back around. <laughs> Haunted says, Soap Vent. Mr. Gamertech says, Cool Slush. If it's another Cool Slush Geyser, that would be three Cool Slush Geysers. Look, I gave you guys more room to breathe. No. 
Let's go in here, give more carbon dioxide space. Uh, that's going to be not good. We are barely keeping up in calories. And you know what this tells me? Um, they are, see how long these are sitting here? These bristle blossoms are sitting. That's the difference. So that's why when we do that math, I always say add one or add, well, I don't always say it, but sometimes I say like add a plant. And it's because like right now, this is losing us calories. So it's actually not supporting a full dupe. It's supporting like 0.998 dupes. And when you're so precise on it, that's what happens. Um, but normally it's also offset because you have a bunch of like wild plants and stuff like that that are growing that you're harvesting like this right here. Like we can enable auto harvest on this and then start eating spindly grub or roasted grub fruit nuts. That's early game food. Easy, easy day. Nothing in here, huh? What? Well, oh, no. I'm in danger. Yep, we're definitely in danger here. This is danger. And the fact that we have four dupes in danger. On goes the hat. All right, this is made out of sandstone, but there is sandstone right there. This should be okay. Should be okay. All we do is save dupes. Have a good one, Pumpkin. I appreciate you stopping by. Oh, we can go over more. I didn't even realize we could go over more. Why didn't we capitalize on this earlier? There's even oxalite down there that can fill this cavity. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, this is the one we've already seen. I keep getting excited about this one. Let's keep going over. Come on, dig, diggy. Diggy, diggy. Diggy, diggy, all. Here we go. Who's your daddy? This might be a sulfur geyser. Might be a sulfur geyser. Oh, and we can also dig down from here, too. Boop. We gotta be careful with sand. Sandy boys present some problems. Oh, uh, yes. Let me see what's down here. Show me. Is that Wolframite? Oh, that's a lot of Wolframite, too. Oh, uh, I heard it. I heard it. Let's see it. It's a Mima and an Abe. Ooh. Look at the buff Mima. Okay, so we. <clears throat> Abe is pretty good too. But Mima getting the plus eight strength, plus the three, that's 11 strength. They actually don't get the two plus eights, which to me is. should not be. While, you know, technically being correct, it should be plus 16 plus three, right? Abe has allergies. It's going to be Meemaw. Get your, get your echoes in for some wonderful, wonderful Meemaw action. That probably sounds inappropriate. <laughs> the Meemaw action. Two, three. And we'll go over here like that. And I'm not even going to plant. I'm only going to plant one bristle blossom. <laughs> Jimmy T time. Oh, behave. Oh, everybody <laughs> wants to be the yeah. buff Meemaw. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Sorry, old black fella. First of the name. Boop, boop. Oh, we got automation now. See, I think it might be the... Okay, for oh, let's just try it. Automation. Oh, I still can't build it. We'll automate these. And I'll put a thing here and see if it can dump with power. We will see. Uh, how about down here? What do we get? 
Show them what they've won. Oh. More room to explore. I too like exploring. They're really not going to like this. But... Sorry. About your party. Uh, what do I do here? They can't get down from there. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. What's going... <gasps> oh! Remember, chat, when I said you have to be careful when using the serpentine digs? Because of... Because of the sand? Pixie Cat said dupe, ti dupe hat time. It was a volcano? Huh. Alright, what do we got here? We have igneous rock. I hope these are fast builders. Good job, Sanders. There we go. Whoo. Whoo. Okay. Uh, ooh, this looks pretty. Real pretty. I don't mind serpentining, serpentining through the cold. It's not going to off-gas anything. So we will keep going. And because we didn't learn our lesson... And ice will obviously never melt. Uh, we'll do some like stuff like this. A little, bit, a little safer. Uh, can they jump down there? Yes, they can. And we'll just go down over here. Are dupes gonna get hypothermia? Yes. Do we care? Of course we do. Of course we do. <laughs> oh. Oh. Deck said bad pod. I like it. <laughs> oh, man. Can I get an exclamation roll nine for the buff Meemaw, please? We need another schedule. Oh, here she comes. It's a buff Mima. Oh, here she comes. I'm sorry. I, look, I told you that was a good mood. But this is what you get. There we go. We just gotta see a little bit. A little bit lower now. A little bit lower now. You got down here? Uh, we were still trying to figure this out when I noticed the trappy traps. So we were going to go something like uh, this. We'll just go down like that. It's just so much slower. Oh, there it is. Chat, we found one. And this might be a saltwater geyser. Of course, it won't be a normal water geyser because we don't have that kind of luck. This is going to be impossible for them. The dupes might even suffocate because there is just so much carbon dioxide. Um, I don't see any beautiful oxygen. Oh, there's some right there. We will take a, a quick skadoodle over here. We'll take a quick skadoodle. It'll let some oxygen in. Uh... Exclamation roll nine was by Weazar. They rolled a one, so it is the Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider becomes the buff Meemaw. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Thank you, Ghost Rider. Appreciate you. Your dupes will get trapped again with the last bit of cold path you made if you don't get ladders. Uh, where? Not here. They can jump down, jump around, jump up, jump down. Over here. Ooh, right here. Because of the snows. It's because of the snows. 
from right there. That's where they would die. Good catch, Nafarin. Appreciate you. Whoop. And we can go down like this, like this. Oh, we got another biome down here too. Dig all through that. What'd we get here? Oh, it didn't reveal. Hold on. Diggy, diggy hole. They wouldn't die. Echo's a proficient gamer. Absolutely. Did you know I'm on YouTube? <laughs> ah, get that bleach stone out of here. Get it out of here. Nobody's got time for that. It's true. I'm on the YouTubes. Looks like a volcano by color. Ugh. Look at you showing off. Like, look at my superior vision. Mm. <laughs> How do you see that? Like, and I'm... Look, I'm not saying that you should ever bet against Dex 3D. But is there anybody willing to say that that is not a volcano? I mean, that's rough. Another volcano? Like, come on! If you guys would listen and go get the wonderful oxygen, this wouldn't be a problem. There's not... Your salvation lies beyond! Survey says... Volcano. <laughs> Another volcano. If I can tie some of these together, we might be able to put together a nice sauna. And you know, chat, you know I like those saunas. That's going to be all sand. That's all sand. So that's not going to work. So we're going to go like this, then this. Then in here... Here we go. Uh, then we're going to go like this. Yes. We're just going to ride that abyss light up. Oh, I, I haven't even made it cross there. Haha. <laughs> there we go. Sinister Plank says, I just realized if I trap a shine bug next to my Atmos suits, they disinfect them with radiation. Oh! Don't do that. There you go. You were suffocating, then you found all this glorious oxygen. All hail the God King Echo, right? The all-knowing, all-seeing printing pod. Meathound says, must be watching on an 8K 120-inch TV. <laughs> Why can't I get a water geyser? Why does everybody get water geysers except for me? Ooh, oxalite. Mm. Just like that. Oh, yes. Anything? Don't run away. You've got work to do. No sand. I can do what I want. Because you're not the boss of me. Yeah. We found a hot tub. Mmm. Lots of O2 now. Somebody pick... Why won't they pick up this bleach stone? I have asked them to pick this up. Which means they're grabbing it and then getting called to, like, lunch or something. Uh, look, this, just, give me your, why can't my brain, is it K? There it is. I had forgotten my, uh, Sinister Plank is a water geyser. That's 7.2 kilos of water per second. Very nice. Meat Hound says, say no to hot tub streams. You kidding? We do it classy, Meat Hound. 
We'd do it classy. You know how we are. Everything's still safety. Safety! Oh, wow, this still keeps going. My goodness. Look at this, chat. It just keeps going on and on. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's go cut through some of this. Just to get through the sand, right? Like, there's some copper down there. Ugh. And then, then I think I can. So it's gonna stop there, so I can go like this, then this. Oh, there's another sand. Sandy boy! Whoop. Look at all this sulfur. We'll pause it there. Grab the bleach stone. <laughs> you muppets. Ha! Love you, FJ! Uh, let's go dig over here, too. This seems good. There's no bleach stone in our way. Oh, wait, there's one bleach stone there. Hold on. We gotta go up and over. Going up and over! They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll eventually get it. Um, this giant biome. We can still go further south in it. These are a little dangerous. I should not be doing this. Yeah, let's not do that. That's dumb. Of course, they're running out of air here. Because all this carbon dioxide is going to float down. I'm also digging it over here. Some of the CO2 will go over there. It'll be fine. Ooh. Oh, that's bad. Who thought that was a good idea? One. Uh, ooh. Who hurt you, Echo? There we go. There we go. I guess we might as well go all the way over here, too. Ooh, we're paused. How long have we been paused? Boop. Beautiful pod! Alright, ten dupes. I'm not willing to go beyond ten dupes yet. Unless there's an absolute stone-cold stunner. And I don't see a stone-cold stunner in this list. So we will take some omelette. Uh, priorities. I also need to update some priorities. Tidying, supplying, storing. Mima, you're doing it all. Okay. Poor, poor Ghost Rider Mima is cleaning all day, every day. Cleaning up after nine other dupes. Let's go do some skills. Skills with a Z, though. These are different skills. <laughs> Neferent Twitch says, Got him! Get one free pandiculate. Drink and posture check. Oh. Oh, that was a good one. Ghost Rider says, It pays the bills. <laughs> Burgetta is all done. Crazy tastic. We're almost at Mechatronics Engineering. Which means that's when we'll really start driving on uh You know, you know the words I'm trying to think of. The metal refinery and all that. Smashykins! Still love that name. You're amazing, Smashykins. And Whistling. Boom. Boom. Neferon says, chat, you drink up too. Stay hydrated. Nice. Nice. Copy settings. Just one. To prove my point. Because this is what, eight? Nine, ten. We have ten dupes plus one plant. And that'll be plenty. 
All right, so uh, you guys need to move out. Be gone, long one. Somebody name the movie. Name that movie. Be gone, long one. <laughs> That's a throwback. 216 Smiley nails it right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Uh, we also need to get all this swept up. I gotta open this door. This is gonna be a pain because, you know what? We're not even gonna do this. I'm just gonna kill this one. Don't look, we Azar. Iceland 99 says it's my favorite version of Robin Hood. Me too. I still, to this day, love that movie. Mama, mama, wait for me. No, open the door. Open it. Or close it. Close the door quickly. Uh, outside of a stable. Twat, you say? No way. What? Boop. There we go. Mind your manners. Mind your manners. The little baby rabbit. Oh. Mind your manners. Um, if you've never seen, look it up on the Googles. All the reused animations from the Jungle Book to Robin Hood. Disney did a lot of it back then. Like, in fact, the bear from Robin Hood, uh, Little John, is like the same bear from um, Jungle Book. It's so funny. Baloo, there it is. Yep. Aristocats took some of those too. Yep, absolutely. And from Snow White? I haven't seen the ones with Snow White, but now I want to. Yes, get it all clean. Get it all clean, ranchers. We want eight hatchy boys. And the only thing we're feeding them is sedimentary rock. Oh, oh. This is awkward. Raw mineral. Oh, when they're dancing. They... Now I can picture it. I can picture it. Sedimentary rock. Truly the softest of all the rocks. Uh, let's move this definitely out here. And then we don't have to move anything else. Just move this... One right here. In modern terms, they reskinned them. Yeah. I mean. And. Whoop, whoop. Get your ranchers on. I bet you were able to find eight. There's four. Five, six, seven. <laughs> it's so easy on the tarot maps to find hatches. They're everywhere. All right. Now I want to put some nice drywall in here. Robinson, Help me, I'm trapped. Uh-oh. Nope, it was a temporary trapped. They were lying. They were lying. Not relying, just lying. Nothing. Oh, at least we found the other place. We can go check it out. See the destination. We have a partially frozen radioactive swamp asteroid. Burger says you already got a stone hatch. Check along your ladder. Okay, Burger. I like that. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. The ladder was in the wrong spot. Who did that? Surely not me. And now you peed all up in here. Stopping appropriate oxygen flow. Uh, we can go down here. Well, tell you the truth, we're gonna have to do one of these now. That's silly. My goodness, it just keeps going on and on forever. Look at them all. Jumpy jump. 
accidentally liquid locks. <laughs> you imagine being suffocated because you're trapped between two people pile two people's piles of pee? Like, oh man. At that point you drink the pee. Let's be honest, you drink the pee and then you get more air. Don't say you wouldn't do it. I know you'd do it. Uh, another volcano here. Nothing here. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the ESS... <laughs> Chaotica. Uh, none of this is gonna fall. Good, 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 good. All good. Good. <laughs> Bushman Glenn. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. I love it. We need a Shirley command. We need a Shirley command. Uh, down by the ladder. I have a lot of ladders, right? What do we got in here? If I've already discovered a stone hatch, I don't see them in here. They would be in my critter list. Sorry, it was an egg. Main ladder run. No, I, I'll take that. Rewind it back. Is it a stone hatchy egg? Yes, it is. Move it. You've got to move it. Move it. Uh, no, this is going to be a secondary right here. Uh, we will delete that. Good eyes. Some of you have just absolute hawk eyes. Right here. Move to here. Thank you. And you're going to go here. You're going to go here. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Wee! Boop. Boop. And just like this, all we do is make magic happen. Beautiful. <laughs> Surely don't call me Shirley. I love it. Thank you, Glenn. Everything else in here can go. We'll have to do another swoop later because they will eat all this stuff. And these guys are going to eat, yes, because we have a lot of regular volcanoes. Easy day, they eat igneous rock. Raw mineral, igneous rock. We need to put these on a four. Put this on a four. We're not going to be able to put it in here yet because there is no igneous rock. Because we have, oh, wait, stone hatchies. Apparently, you... They've done it to where you can see all. This is new. You can see all of the uh, critters before you actually have them. Beautiful, beautiful. How's our explorations doing way down yonder? Way... Oh! It's another saltwater geyser. Come on! Ah. Oh, there's hydrogen down there. I don't. I don't even care at this point. I don't even care. I just give me something good. This one's ninety-five. Man! New Buffer City, <laughs> says Maxine. Nope. I do have some other ideas from some other water treatment plants, though. I'm about to do it in our Chaos Crew play along. Uh, hello? Uh, oh, that's a pod. Hmm. Oh, we still haven't checked out that other planetoid yet, either. Operating, decorating, tripophobic. Nope. Mouth breather. Nope. Loud sleeper. Next. Mirthleaf. All right, Kurdazan, 
gold meteors and iron meteors. Ooh, la, la. Ooh. <gasps> Two water geysers, a natural gas geyser, an iron volcano, a cobalt volcano, and a polluted water vent. This place is better than ours. I mean... Their guard says that quote is from uh, Airplane. Boop, boop. We still have five unknown geysers. Five. Oh, you're talking about the Shirley thing. Yes. What could they be? I mean, we've explored and explored. We've explored our little hearts off. Suppose we can go straight through here to the other side. And then, uh, what is this? Salt water? Yeah, it's fine. In an effort not to get them soggy wets, because I told you I love our dupes. What is this? Hydrogen? It's just a little bit of hydrogen. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, this will be fine. Insufficient oxygen generation. That's not true. We have 40 tons of algae. Okay? 40 tons. I should probably put one down here now, though. How are we doing on this main power line? Oh, pfft. easy day. Easy day. Inani, what is the rocket port extension used for? I have not tested it a lot. I have not used it yet, so I can't tell you. I have my theories, but I don't want to I don't want to talk out of my butt. Never be afraid to say I don't know. So many people. I know you work with them. They they are incapable of saying I don't know. Trust me. Everybody wants to work with the I don't know guy versus the I know everything and most of the times they're wrong. You know who I'm talking about. Look at all this igneous rock. Mm. At least we found a way to go straight through. We've all we've all worked with that guy. Like it doesn't matter what the question is. Have you seen this un new undeveloped technology that's never been revealed to anybody on a human planet? Oh, yeah, I saw it last week. Of course you did. What does it do? Well, it's a, um, 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 um. Just say I don't know. Hi, <laughs> Born Jay says, I lived with him long enough. He is my brother. <laughs> oh. The I don't know guy is going to look up the answer. The other guy will just assume he's right. Exactly. Taco! You know what? I was I was just thinking to myself, you know what I'm in the mood for? I want some tacos in my mouth. And boom. In comes taco. Absolutely. Let's put one here. And then I can actually open this up like this. I don't know why I want to do it. I just want to do it. It'll allow more of the carbon dioxide to sink down here. I can all... Uh, I don't want to get rid of the slime, though. Pixie Cat Saltwater equals the RSPA's collection of RSSA tears. Oh, that is so good. Shade. Shade has been thrown. Oh. RSPA's collection of please fit ah oh. okay we're gonna have to abbreviate it's all right collection of our ssa tears that's <laughs> so good oh taco how you been doing if i can get a shot out for the man the myth the legend 
the incredible streamer, the compassionate human being, the amazing, comes in two variants, spicy and non, Taco. For those you didn't know, Taco is a uh, expert satisfactory player, uh, but they also stream other games. But more importantly, when they are streaming, they're always streaming for Extra Life. And so all the money that is raised on their channel goes to the Boston Children's Hospital through the Extra Life Foundation. Math is hard. Yeah. I'm doing all right. I actually, uh, I, I started thinking more about some other YouTube stuff. So I, I got a burst of motivation. So I'm really excited about seeing what I can do there. So yeah, I, uh, I, I've been doing good. And I just got to put some tacos in my mouth. So that's always good. Oh. All right, so this is a lot of exploration. I don't feel comfortable. And this tells you, cause you know, I'm willing to go all slapdash with going further without suits, going further without suits. It's a zero sum game. Or we'll say it's a game of diminishing returns because they're going to go dig one thing and then come all the way back, especially when we're trying to get into these nuanced areas. Unfortunately, we still have five unknown geysers because Ani is... <gasps> Chat! The often talked about... Never duplicated. Absolutely rare water geyser. Where is it? It has to be a neutronium patch we just revealed. It has to be. Come to Papa. You can do it. It's got to be this one right here. It has to be, right? Let's let's verify. Just because I'm making a bet, you know I don't normally do this. Water geyser. Mm. Man, it feels good to be Highborn Jace's brother. <laughs> yeah. The only true Peruk. Welcome. I appreciate you. Yeah, it's just when they you have unknown geysers and then all of a sudden they pop. It's because you just revealed the neutronium. That is good, good stuff. Yeah. I mean, other than that, I think next episode, next stream... We're going to work on getting a metal refinery down so we can start getting some advanced power. I'm thinking going with the cooking toots, the old natural gas to start with. We'll, all, we'll have coal gener power generation two. Once we have the power, maybe we should go electrolyzer first. No, because I need the steel and everything because all the water we have is like undoable other than this one down here. If we can get, we'll have to come down here, put a pump in there, and then I don't mind making an electrolyzer. It'll be hot. Like not in the good way. Like in the temperature way, you know? Remember, we will be streaming again on, um, oh, we need a picture, don't we? Uh... Big exploration? Is that not exciting? Big exploration. Or all the explorers. Or I love tacos. What's going on? Okay, everybody's safe. Yeah, I like this. I haven't done one of these thumbnails before. People might like think it's interesting. So we're going to give it a try. Screenshot! Everybody say cheese! Beautiful. Oh, that's a good, that's even better one. Mr. Taco said it. 
Oh yeah, Diggy Diggy Hole. Everybody loves Diggy Diggy Hole. So you can't beat that. Put some dupe making music on for a minute while we chit chat. Um, remember, I will be streaming on Friday. I'm thinking we're sticking to the Fridays, not the Friday after dark that you all know and love, but rather the 1 p.m. Eastern Friday where we do a variety, like an Echo Day Off sort of game. Pixie Cat says, hi, chat again. Hi, Vodlanders. Mr. Taco, I know we keep crossing streams. I told you to take one step to the left. We keep, I mean, I know. We keep crossing streams. I'll find you again. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Appreciate everybody coming out tonight. Who have we not raided in a quick minute? Oh, I know where we're going. I've been wanting to see this. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go say hi to our friend Resorty because they're playing um, SteamWorld Build. Um, I want to give it a try, but it looks like it is the same duplicative thing. Like, uh, now you got to get logs. Once you get logs, you're going to build the houses. And when you build this, and it's always, it's always the same game. It doesn't matter what kind of skin you do. Next time it's CI. Oh, Coral Island. <laughs> Everybody's excited for the Coral Island stream. So let's go say how to Resorty. I am interested in the SteamWorld build. See if it has any duplicative or any original ideas in the genre. Because I do like the, the setting. You know, I just don't love the everything else. Otto says Steamworld is pretty easy to beat. Five to six hours. Fun short game, but really not replayable. See? Ugh, why do they do that? They spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in the development of a game. Even if it's indie, it still takes a long, long time and a lot of money. And then they just make it the same game with a different skin. All these city builders. We got to switch it up. All right? Hey, I just updated these credits a couple days ago. Um, for those of you did not know... I update the credits whenever I do a YouTube video, uh, usually at least once a week. So if you're a new Twitch subscriber um, or a new YouTube member or a Patreon member, your name will appear in the credits. So, yeah. I appreciate everybody coming out. I appreciate all the love and support. Make sure you say thank you to the mods and to each other. The mods are keeping everything all copacetic here and also... You know, uh, streams aren't fun without a nice chat. So uh, thank each other on the way out. Uh, watch out for Mr. Taco's stream. He's getting it everywhere. Yeah, much love to all of you. Check out Taco if you have not seen him before. Go give him that follow. I, uh, I implore you. So until next time, much love, happy gaming, and I'll talk to you soon.